On Wednesday, September 25th, Hurricane Helene was getting situated down in Mexico, but further north, a cold front had stalled over the Appalachian Mountains, sparking slow-moving storms and providing a corridor of tropical moisture to continue streaming northward, setting the stage for 48 hours straight of rainfall, with the remnant core of Hurricane Helene arriving Friday morning to deliver the final blow of rain and wind to the area. I documented the flooding in the immediate area around my shop located near Asheville, North Carolina, to share that footage with you guys here. Look at all this water just making its way through the woods. Normally it doesn't flow this way. This water's running off anywhere. Here's a shop here. I mean, the foundation's a couple inches higher than this water level, but got freaking little rapids over our road. And there's so much water coming out of everywhere. Sub truck's about to wash away. Stay strong, sub truck. Hold firm. This is our main road to the shop. Look at all this water just cheating over it. Wow. There's a huge culvert that passes underneath here and it is overwhelmed. Oh my goodness. It's really a nice little creek that just snakes through the river. Snakes through the woods, but all this woods is flowing right now. Here's the inlet to that culvert. <laughs> I can see it's whirlpooling pretty good. Throw something down there. Gosh. <laughs> this is the corner I always get stuck on. So I take this curve wide. The creek's supposed to be way over there, but it's just all overflowing through here. I don't think my semi truck's gonna be making this corner anytime soon. The main two pine trees were down. There they are up there, but the whole creek. <laughs> this is nuts. Wow. Yeah, normally there's a big culvert that passes through here. Just an hour ago, it was handling a fine. But now it's completely swelled up and it's completely washing out this road. Look how, look how that eroded away right there. That whole field is a new river now. Dude, I'm excited to see that bridge. That bridge is done for! Yeah, I don't think so. I think we're trapped here for a while. Our road is gonna be gone. Hang tight, let me show you guys this. The bridge is still there though! Oh my... Just an hour ago, all this flow was spinning under the bridge. My Subaru is down underwater. I stashed my car on the other side of the bridge in case it washed up. Yeah, finding a new parking spot for my car. Yeah. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is the road. I bring my semi on all the time. Dude, it might be too deep, it might sweep us away. It might sweep me, dude. This will be fun on the tube. There's another bridge over there, I wonder how it's doing. I just have to leave my car there. Thank God for that tree in the middle. That's a lifesaver. Looks like this bridge is handling it all right. Our bridge is right over there. I mean, there's a tiny bit of flow over the road right here. But we got some cows running out of pasture. Look at all that dude's steel. Trucks and campers in the water. You can't even tell where the original channel is. I know. Dude, that, that guy's camper is going to wash away.
over there. That was Kubota. Yeah. It's got a nice tractor going underwater. These guys don't mind too much. Let's go. Move my car to higher ground, I think. <laughs> I, I, I parked it high. I did not think the water would reach it. Yeah, there's still some dry land over there. Hey, buddy. You holding up all right? Taking care of these cows? Yeah, I do hear that hum. Hey, buddy. Hi. I didn't even know water flowed through here. Here's my car on this little island. The bridge is way down there. I thought this was way higher than it needed to be. But I am going to move my car real quick and get a little more elevation up there before it sweeps away. Because the water level might keep going up. I think we're about through the worst of the rain, but nothing's receding yet. Well, we're gonna be without power for a while. That tree wiped out our main power line coming in. Beast of a saw you got. Mud flying everywhere. We're barely enough pull it back. You just barely got it. Heavy ball. It's out of here. <laughs> the road is clear again. And now we can go get groceries and anything we want. about that we got our road back it doesn't even look that bad the bridge still looks solid it's a well-built bridge so we're gonna go retrieve my car because it looks like our road is healthy we've been knocking down some more trees 
one there one there those big pines we use the military trucks for and there's one other one we did and then one more down the road that's on some power lines and then all this road network through here should be cleared up again last thing to do today is fix this last tree that's pinned down these power lines they didn't snap they're just pinned down we assume there's no power it's probably safe to say but we'll be careful anyways Never mind, we have one tree, two tree, pinning down the power line again. Three, four, five. Snapped power pulled down there. So I'll keep seeing what's down this road. Here's a neighbor's driveway. Completely washed out. Looks like they had a huge culvert and it was still overwhelmed. You can see all this brush folded over. Oh my goodness. Even this creek overflowed this morning. Look at this erosion. Probably I can step on here. Wow. That was a giant oh my gosh, look at that. Super eroded. That's a huge culvert. It's completely overwhelmed. That may have had something to do with it. The entrance to that culvert got pretty clogged up with logs. Alrighty, it's the day after the hurricane. We're gonna go check on this main creek that really flooded over the road. It's right up here. Looks like a construction company already stationed some equipment here to work on electrical here. You got a nice six by six dump truck with an excavator. So that's good to see support getting all the way back to my neck of the woods already. There's still loads of trees down everywhere. Roads all around me are still effectively closed. Literally, they essentially just shut down all the roads in all of Western North Carolina and the Southern Appalachians. But I did get enough food and water ahead of time before the storm to sustain me through however long it takes for us to get power back and for roads to get back. And towns don't have power yet, so it's hard to get groceries, but anyways, here's this creek. It's subsided quite a bit. I mean, this was the area, the whole road was flooded. You can see the creek expanded and swelled up. And that whole swath of the vegetation just got pushed over by the water. And water was way over to there. So luckily where I'm at, it's a pretty high elevation area with uh, the terrain being pretty steep around me. So in the midst of things, when the rain was pouring down, all the creeks swelled up like crazy, as you saw. But the land I'm in does do a good job of evacuating the water. So it all drained out pretty quick. And we really didn't sustain any property damage, so we got away pretty clean. Now this was a huge hurricane that decimated the coast of Florida and then pushed a ton of rain and wind way further inland than hurricanes normally do. So there's a large swath of the population that got impacted by this storm. So my heart goes out to all the people that lost everything they owned, lost their loved ones and lost their lives because this was a very impactful hurricane. There were whole communities completely washed away. There were dams that catastrophically failed and dumped their reservoirs into the valley below and just swamped towns. So please keep all the families in your thoughts and prayers that got impacted by the storm. It'll be a long road to recovery for a lot of these communities and families that lost everything.